Okay, so let's talk about the Fibonacci numbers and the golden ratio in nature. So nature spirals can be made up of Fibonacci numbers found in the seed heads of sun sunflowers and, and daisies. We talked about sunflowers. Go ahead and underline the word sunflowers. Also found in pine cones, pineapples, the nautilus shell spiral turn pictured right here. So the golden rectangle can be drawn around a cecropia moth over here and the the nautilus shell. And nature's examples are not always perfect according to the golden ratio. Um, many times they're approximations. I actually once found a cecropia moth on a tree and uh, brought it home. It was just so beautiful. They're really gorgeous moths. So a sunflower, this sunflower reveals two Fibonacci numbers in its seed spiral turns. So we have 55 spiral turns going in this direction and 34 spiral turns going going in the opposite direction. So why don't you go ahead and draw a few spiral turns going in, maybe draw two lines going in this direction and two lines going in the left-hand direction. And those of you watching the recording, just go ahead with your finger Take your finger and draw those lines. Okay, so let's talk about the golden angle and plant phyllotaxis. The word phyllotaxis is Greek for leaf arrangement. In botany or plant study, the leaf arrangement is on an axis or stem. So the golden angle, the angle between one leaf and the next is one 137.5 degrees occupied by smaller red arc when two arcs make up a circle they're in the golden ratio and they're the equivalent of 0 0.618 and rotation is 222.5 degrees and the opposite direction is 137.5 degrees this this gives these numbers give the spiral turns on plants when we see plants having spiral turned leaves. The golden angle is the angle separating the florets, the tiny seed head flowers on a sunflower and other types of flower heads. Now we come to the golden ratio in architecture. So here we have the Notre Dame Cathedral in Paris, France, built in the 1100s. And very faintly, I'll go ahead and zoom in, can you see the lines drawn it's my opinion that these lines are a little bit too pale. These are called golden rectangles, each of these different rectangles. So therefore, the Notre Dame Cathedral is golden. Same with the, the tower here. We have three golden rectangles. We also have the Taj Mahal, which also is abundant with different golden rectangles. This was built in the 1500s in India. The CN Tower in Toronto was built in 1973 to 1976. And this is within the golden ratio. So here we have the golden ratio line. The golden ratio in art. So you can find many examples of the golden ratio created by art masters. One of these works of perfection were created by the use of golden rectangles, golden proportions or section, and golden triangles. So a painting called The Birth of Venus uh, created by Botticelli is within the golden ratio. We talked about Leonardo's Mona Lisa, which is within the golden ratio, and the Vitruvian Man, Michelangelo's Holy Family, David, Raphael's Crucifixion, Rembrandt's Cell portrait. So here we have Rembrandt's self-portrait. Go ahead and put a rectangle, a golden rectangle, around Rembrandt's portrait. Salvador Dali created this painting here called The Sacrament of the Last Supper. I'm sorry, no. This is called The Persistence of Memory right here. The painting, I think the entire painting is within the golden ratio. The Last Supper, pictured in the background, also has portions of it within the golden ratio. I would start the rectangle like right about here and then go across his body like that. Okay, so there is the golden rectangle. Okay, so the golden ratio and Fibonacci numbers in music. So music is created with numeric value. When the golden ratio is used to create a musical piece, it becomes an example of what's called living math, meaning you're actually seeing math in action in real life. The Fibonacci number sequence is also found in music. Now, for example, there are eight notes to a music scale. The third and fifth notes are the basis of all chords. A span or an octave of any note is 13 notes, and 8, 3, 5, and 13 are all Fibonacci numbers. 